What's up? This is Squad Twenty Four Forty Eight. We're following tonight. There's Team Bear. Today we'll be doing some luxury camping here on the Gold Cross Mountains map. We'll be bringing our Ferrari Four Five Eight and our Chevy Silverado V Eight Turbo Pickup Truck out onto the mountain roads, and we'll be having some fun going at some pretty fast speeds. We'll be using the Ram Mega Cab and the RV to kind of haul them over and set up the campsite. So first, we do want to bring the Ferrari over, so we want to hop inside the Ram 3500 dually with custom wheels, custom bumpers, and we want to attach to the 25 foot enclosed trailer which is just over here to the right of the house. Now we are going with two trailers for today because a 50 foot trailer is way too big to be hauling on these very tight roads here on the Gold Crest Mountains map and I'm very excited to be here on this map. We did do a very similar video with a Porsche GT4 and a few other vehicles but I'm excited to be back doing a luxury camping video. I got a lot of requests to do it so today should be a lot of fun. And we are taking the Ferrari first just because it's kind of parked first and I do not want to have to keep moving vehicles around everything like that. But I mean this map has a lot of different types of hills and different roads everything like that which should a lot of fun for today. So up first we'll be hopping in the Ferrari 458 Italian sports car. I mean this is one expensive car so I mean it fits it for luxury and we'll kind of pull forward here. It's luxury and I mean it's a very fast sports car. I did actually hide the lights on this vehicle just because they did show up white and that's not too realistic so I just turned off the lights. But as you guys can see we are loading this on. Fits pretty well in the 25 foot enclosed trailer. I really do like it a lot. Maybe it could have even gone with a 20 foot enclosed trailer or we could have changed it up and had one as a gooseneck trailer so there's many different trailers everything like that but I do like uh, transporting expensive cars like this in enclosed trailers to prevent any rocks from coming up from the road bugs anything like that as you guys can see we are kind of backing out here from our house and there is pretty much no driveway for us very very small driveway and as you guys can see this Cummins dually is also straight piped right out of the engine which is also a very cool thing. If you guys would like to see more camping videos here on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. I do appreciate all of your positive feedback and video ideas that you guys do give me each and every single day. As you guys can see, we are climbing up some very steep hills and will continue to climb up very steep hills all along uh, today's awesome camping video. So we could actually take this right turn right over here and I think we'll be doing it but with the RV we will actually be going the other way just because I mean two different vehicles this one definitely will be able to make it up it and I mean this dirt road is very challenging so as you guys can see I mean we are making up it it's a very steep very challenging dirt road with a lot of turns but overall this Cummins should be able to do it and you guys can see first person action right on I mean that just shows you how steep it is and this truck was released by McLean modding one awesome truck you guys can see I mean this truck is fully modded out from the exhaust to the wheels and the front bumper which is awesome as you guys can see I mean this is one very steep hill probably not the safest hill to bring an expensive Ferrari kind of on it but overall we made it to the campsite which is right at the top of the hill so I think we'll probably kind of uh, park up this trailer a little bit later on so we got this first here I did pull the emergency brake hopefully the truck kind of stays here but it is a little bit on the hill up next, we'll be switching over here to the RV and attaching to yet another trailer. Like we're saying, bringing one trailer with both vehicles was way too long, and we do not want to do that. So we'll back up and attach to this. And I actually built and released this trailer earlier in uh, Farming Simulator 17, which was pretty cool. And it, we are currently working on a brand new map, so stay tuned for that. You guys will be seeing a few live streams and a lot of different videos coming with that map building video. And like we're saying, guys. I will add a few roads and mountains that are just like the ones featured in today's video just so you guys can do many different things on it. As you guys can see we put down those ramps and we'll be hopping in the Chevy Serato, a V8 turbo engine with custom lights all the way around. I mean this is probably one of the fastest trucks we have in the game so we do have to pull a little bit onto the grass and it is lowered 
quad exhaust out of the back with a custom bumper which fits them. I mean, this is one awesome truck that Winston put together. I do appreciate him for releasing awesome vehicles for farming sim. We'll be kind of driving this, and that looks to be good, kind of right over the center of the wheels. We'll be hopping in the RV, kind of folding up this ramp. And like I was saying, guys, I do appreciate each and every one of you with all of the positive feedback and everything like that. And I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. This is also like a Sunday camping video along with it being luxury. So you kind of get a very good thing. Best of both worlds, having a weekend camping. That way, uh, during the week, we get to go to work, do all that landscaping, public works, and everything like that. And then on the weekends, we kind of come out here camping. So for the next camping video, which will be next week, week let me know down below in the comments what we should do for that i do enjoy doing weekly camping videos and other weekly videos as you guys can see we are pretty much cruising on here very sharp windy turns and like we're saying guys uh 50 foot enclosed gooseneck trailers way too big for us and take a look back we're having some problem guys getting traction because the trailer was scraping the asphalt there not the best we'll definitely have to make sure that we did not cause damage on the way back on our trip and I do get a lot of requests to kind of drive back at the end of the videos from the camping uh, trips and that's a great idea I will definitely do a video doing that and I do appreciate all of your awesome ideas now as you guys can see not much traffic on these roads and we do actually have to take very wide roads to make sure the trailer is not going to be going off the ground but as you guys can see I mean once again sliding around just because those back wheels do not get the traction needed but we actually have to go up this gravel hill kind of concrete rock gravel all mixed together we have to go up this into the right and that's exactly where our campsite is and as you guys can see there was two ways to get here we took the uh, easier way with the rv but as you saw this still struggled quite a bit as you guys can see we got this kind of parked up i think we'll park it up right about here that looks to be good it would definitely fold down the ramps to this and we'll definitely unload it as you guys can see, we got the campsite all set up, which is nice. I think that that's perfect just about there. And I do actually want to find another spot for this coming. So let's see if we can kind of uh, park it up over here on the hill. Oh, looks like we can actually park it over here. That's where we will have to do it, just because, I mean, it's not going to really fit well right here. We'll turn this back on, and we'll be going. Like I was saying, guys, we do have to put wheel chocks, everything like that, behind it, just because this is a very steep hill, and it's not too realistic to do it. So We'll actually kind of park right over here, and actually, we'll probably, uh, actually, this is pretty level coming up now. Now, that's a little bit easier. It's kind of on best of both worlds, kind of halfway and halfway, but a bit of a challenge in general, kind of bringing trailers like this on mountain roads. But as you guys can see, I mean, that trailer is not going to let the uh, Ferrari go down nicely off the trailer. So, we'll have to take a look at that, and looks like the camera view is having a bit of a problem. But we'll definitely have to kind of readjust it, just kind of unload the Ferrari, then we'll move the trailer back up. So we'll kind of come back here, hop in this, and as you guys can see, giant, very steep hill. Now this is a very loud Ferrari, and one of the coolest Ferraris I really do enjoy. And I mean, it's awesome to have this in the game. We'll pull the e-brake, put the, uh... Ferrari in park and we'll just kind of pull this truck up and now we are now going to be having some fun with that which should be pretty exciting we got that parked up you guys can see we got the RV also here into position and I mean take a look at this view coming up guys I mean that is one epic view take a look at that drop and you guys can see overall that looks awesome so next up we'll kind of come over here and we'll hop in the RV and now we are going to be having some fun on these mountain roads like we're saying guys uh, many uh, sport car owners do take uh, their vehicles to mountain roads just because they are hilly windy and they create a lot of fun as you guys can see we're getting up to some very fast speeds and we are actually going to be going from the top down a few times with each vehicle and as you guys can see the Ferrari has an awesome first person view very realistic overall uh, car so we'll kind of head down and if you guys would like to see more videos with cars in them let me know down below in the comments but we are kind of taking up both lanes unless we kind of see our car coming we'll get back in our lane but as you guys can see i mean we are just speeding down here wow losing control for a mi minute there and then we are able to save it and we are actually kind of losing control and going off the grass 
off the pavement. Wow, take off that. Almost sliding up the mountain, which is not good. Now it's a little bit unrealistic. So we do want to take it pretty realistically. I'll have some fun, but the steering is just so uh, sharp and fast that, I mean, it does it within seconds. As you guys can see, we made it to the bottom of the mountain. And overall, I mean, that was a very fun mountain. So we'll definitely turn around right here and we'll head back up and switch over to the Chevy Silverado Sport Truck. As you guys can see, we are doing some first person action. It looks like the camera does move, which isn't the best. But I mean, take a look at that. Getting some pretty fast speed, getting some air there. I mean, we do not get air in many farming sim videos, but today we do, which is pretty exciting. Like I was saying, guys, Sunday, fun day, and a little bit of this isn't too realistic. But stay tuned for the BeamNG video coming later today. That's going to be one epic video. And as you guys can see, we are going back up this steep hill, and we'll be kind of switching over to the Chevy Silverado. We're kind of going up here, and I actually want to kind of park this right in front of the RV. There was some level ground, so that looks like we got right about here. That is perfect. Overall, this Ferrari 458 is one awesome sport car, and it is pretty much a luxury car because it costs so much money, and it could be counted as an exotic car. As you guys can see, we are taking the V8 Turbo Silverado out now, and I mean, this is one awesome truck. Now, this is fully modded by Winston. He, he put all this on when he built the truck for us, which is exciting. And I do appreciate him for releasing the awesome vehicles. He's released many more uh, cool sport vehicles also. As you guys can see, this truck flies, wow, almost as fast as the Ferrari, if not faster. And like I was saying, this game is a little bit different physics-wise, everything like that. So now we are actually going to be going down the hill, seeing how it does. And I mean, overall, going to be pretty exciting with a V8 turboed engine and it is still gas. As you guys can see, turning is not the best on this. As you guys can see, we are cruising on these roads. It's a bit of a challenge. The handling is not the best on this, so I am slowing down quite a bit on all of the turns. But overall, this is one very fun Silverado. A lot of fun kind of driving it. We'll turn around right over here, and we'll head back up the mountain to our campsite to call it a day. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's luxury camping video here on the Goldcrest Mountains map. It's a very cool, lots of very big mountains, as you guys can see, challenging for both the Cummins towing it the Ferrari and also the RV towing a 25 foot enclosed driver. So overall pretty exciting. Uh, got a little bit of air with a Ferrari and also with this Chevy Silverado. But that's pretty much going to be. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Sunday luxury camping video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.